Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, with the Moment 4 feature update that rolled out to Windows 11 22H2, Microsoft started introducing the new Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AI to the Windows 11 desktop, as many of you would know by now. Now, in conjunction with the rollout of Windows Copilot, I asked you guys the question in last week's poll. Will you be using Copilot? And here we can see 40% of you, the majority, say possibly you might use it. 36% said yes, you would be using it, and 23% said no. Now, as we can see, between the possibly and the no votes, that comes to 63%, which outweighs 36% who say yes, they will be using it. And I have found um, from the comments after Copilot rolled out that I see that you either kind of like Windows Copilot or you don't. So according to the poll, between 40 percent and 23 percent for no and possibly and um, it seems that most won't be using windows copilot so if you do fall into that category then you may find this video useful now first of all just to show you how you can remove copilot from the taskbar if you aren't using the feature on a day-to-day -day basis so to do this we just right click on the taskbar we click on taskbar settings and yeah you'll see a toggle copilot toggle that off and you can see the taskbar button and icon has been removed. Now if you go one step further and you find yourself not ever going to use the feature, maybe it's just a distraction or you don't really need the feature in your operating system, then we can completely disable Copilot in Windows 11 by editing the registry. So if you are comfortable to edit the registry, then just a quick video to show you how to do that. Now first of all we head to the start menu we right click on that we click on run and enter reg edit which will open up the registry editor now as i always do suggest before fiddling in the registry because there is a chance that something could go wrong we head to file and i would suggest export your registry it doesn't take long just as a quick backup and you can always import your registry at a later stage if anything has gone wrong now with that all out of the way time to edit the registry now to do this we head to h key current user then we navigate to software. We expand and open up that key. Then we head down to policies and we do the same. Then we open up Microsoft and we open up Windows. Now, if you don't see a registry key called Windows Copilot under Windows, like in my case, then we have to create a new key. So to do this, we right click on Windows, head to new, Click on key and we call that Windows Copilot. Now just make sure as you can see that each word starts with a capital and there are no space spaces. So Windows Copilot. Now once you've done that, then what you need to do is you need to right click on that Windows Copilot key Head to new, and now we've got to create a new DWORD 32-bit value. So click on that, and this value we're going to call turn off Windows Copilot. And the same applies. Each word has a capital, no spaces. So turn off Windows Copilot. So all capitals with the start of each word and no spaces. Turn off Windows Copilot. And now what we need to do is we need to double click on that on that uh, value and we need to change its data from 0 to 1. And now what we need to do after that value has been changed from 0 to 1 is click on OK and then close the registry editor. And what I would suggest now is to apply those changes, you need to restart your device. Now I'm not going to do that because obviously it's going to take too long for the purpose of this video, but just to show you that it does work, before posting this video, I am disabled Copilot completely and I took a couple of screenshots. And just to head to the first, here we can see that first of all, this will completely, um, editing the registry will completely remove the taskbar button from your taskbar. And if we head to the next screenshot, in the settings you can see there is no more Copilot. It completely removed the feature from Windows. So that's basically how you can uh, remove the Copilot button from your taskbar and also completely disable the feature if it is no longer required and you find that you won't be using the new Windows Copilot. And if you want to um, enable Copilot once again uh, in Windows 
11, you just follow the steps once again uh, to edit the registry like I showed you in this video. Then all you do at the end is you just delete the Windows Copilot key and that, and you restart your device and that will enable Copilot once again in Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.